Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use the Session Manager service to open browser-based sessions to your EC2 instances in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 service, then click on Launch Instance, then give your instance a name. Choose an Amazon Linux AMI instance type and a key pair. I'm going to leave all the network settings to default, then expand the advanced details section. Usually for IAM instance profile, I select the SSM managed instance core role. However, for this tutorial, I'll be picking Amazon SSM full access role. Here's why. For session manager to send data to CloudWatch, it needs access to the CloudWatch service. I want you guys to pay attention here because this is important. Attention! If you expand the Amazon SSM managed instance core policy in the IAM console, you won't find any actions related to CloudWatch. However, in the Amazon SSM full access policy, you can see the CloudWatch put metric data action defined with an effect of allow. Click on launch instance then view all instances. Let's launch one more instance, but this time we'll select a Windows AMI. I'm going to leave all the other settings same as before, then hit launch instance. If we head back to our EC2 dashboard, you'll notice that our Linux server is now up and running, but the Windows server is in pending state, but it should be up and running shortly. Next, let's head to the Systems Manager service, then click on Session Manager in the left menu, then navigate to the Preferences tab. Click on Edit, then specify a value of Idle Session Timeout in minutes, then scroll down to the CloudWatch Logging section. Enable CloudWatch Logging, then set Stream Session Logs as the logging option. For Log Group Name, Let's head to the CloudWatch service and create a new group first. Click on Log Groups in the left menu, then hit the Create button. Give your log group a name, then hit the Create button again. Now we can select the log group that we just created from the list. I'm going to leave the S3 logging as disabled, then hit Save. Let's head back to the Sessions tab, then click on Start Session. I'm going to select my Windows server as the target instance, then click on the Start Session button again. Here, we can run commands like hostname to get the current hostname, or run a command like dir to list all the files and directories in the current working directory. I'm going to terminate this session and start a brand new session to my Linux server. On the Linux box, we can run commands like hostname-f or ls-ltrh, but this time I'm going to pipe it to head so we only see the first 10 files. If I run the ps command and pipe the output to grep to search for the ssm keyword, you'll notice that the ssm-user has an active process called sh, which is the current shell that we're working on. Let's terminate this session and head to the Session History tab. Here, you can find all the historical sessions that have been opened using the Session Manager. To view the session logs, click on the CloudWatch Logs link under the Output Location column. If you expand the log lines, you can find all the commands and their output that were run during this session. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.